A centuries-old Bible has been found in Des Moines. Quite the discovery. Yeah. KCCI's Pepper Papura is here with how an Indianola bookstore keeper discovered this very rare relic. Pepper. That's right, Ben, Stacy, Kathy McGrudder found the Bible in the Calvin Community Retirement Homes Library. Now, this dusty book hasn't been checked out in years, and now she's working to unlock the secrets of this incredible antique that's still intact. A dusty old book found in a Des Moines nursing home is turning an Indianola bookstore keeper into a sleuth. I started looking into it and I fell into a rabbit hole. From the moment Kathy Magruder discovered this leather-bound manuscript in the back of the nursing home library, she knew it was special. Something about it and then when I opened it up, the pages are, they make a noise when you turn them. That's a little different than a new book. They feel a little different and the book smells a little different than any other book. And that's when I knew it was probably worth looking into more. But she wanted to prove it. After hours inspecting the text and searching the internet, Magruder got some answers. I knew exactly where this book was at a particular time in a particular place, and I knew who owned it, which was pretty exciting. You don't find that very often. The book, a Scottish Bible, was printed in 1705. 318 years ago. Magruder thinks the publisher produced it illegally, a crime punishable by death at the time. She also found the name of the family who originally owned it. When I found the um, names in a genealogy, you could probably hear me yell out here in the front of the store, Woo! Got it! But one question still lingers. I'd love to know how it got here. <laughs> From Selkshire, Scotland to Des Moines, Iowa, the Bible surviving centuries and traveling across continents. The nursing home it was found in has no record of the donor, leaving Magruder with a dead end for now. But her story's far from over. I'm working on it, but I'm just having so much fun with the research. <laughs> Guru says she plans to sell this Bible in her shop once she's done with all of her research. So if you know anything that could help her finish unraveling this mystery, stop by her shop, Page Turner Books on the Indianola Square.